Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone who knows that every atom in our bodies was once a part of a star, welcome to the Wednesday Night Joke Net here on the 146-895 repeater. I am KE8PVL, your net control for the evening. My name is Nemo, November Echo Mike Oscar, and I am located just a few clicks south of the repeater in Denmark Township. Before I go any further, is there anyone that needs the repeater for emergency or priority traffic? Okay, nothing heard. If anybody does need the repeater for emergency or priority traffic, please break in at any time with break engine call sign and we will concede the repeater for the duration of the emergency. Again, this is the Wednesday Night Joke Net here on the 146-895 repeater. This is a directed net and all traffic should go through net control. Everyone with a valid amateur radio license is encouraged to participate. And for everybody else just hanging around your radio or your scanner, we appreciate you being here too. This net meets every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. on this repeater. Uh, the purpose of this net is to have fun making each other laugh, coming up with crazy punchlines for this week's joke. This is a three-round net, so please stick around or you may miss something. Before I go down the list of regular check-ins, let me just say this repeater is owned and operated by Tom and 8CT. It's available for public use. It has a standard offset and a PL tone of 141.3. You can also get to the repeater via Echo Link, and the node for that is W8IJC-L. Please treat the repeater like it's got a two-minute timeout and allow for clean breaks between transmissions. And other than that, we are good to go. Let me take a quick break, and we'll go down the list of regular check-ins, and we'll see who else here tonight. All right, calling out our list of regulars in order as I have it. Let's start right up at the top of the list with Sonny, KD8, LHR. KD8, LHR, here. All right, Sonny, great to have you with us tonight. Appreciate you being here. Next on the list is we've got KC8 LFR, or I'm sorry, KC8 LAR. Jeff, are you with us? Ah, KC8 LAR, we're missing you tonight. All right, well, maybe he'll be around a little later on. Let's give a shout-out to Chris. KE8YQL, are you with us this evening? KE8YQL Mobile, uh, present and accounted for. All right, Chris, thank you again for being here. Uh, let's try Wayne. Alpha Charlie 8, Yankee Juliet. Okay, well, hopefully he'll be checking in a little later. Next on the list is we've got Dan, N8DRL. Okay, nothing heard there. We'll give a try out to Ron, KC8RJO. Everybody must be prepping for something big this weekend, so they're not here tonight. All right, we'll just give a shout out to Jim. KE8 LFR, are you with us this evening? KE8 LFR here. All right, Jim, thank you for being here tonight. Really appreciate it. Let's try Doug. KE8 TBX. Echo 8, Tango, Bravo, X-Ray, on the mic. All right, Doug, really appreciate you being here tonight. Uh, we'll give a reach out to Drew, uh, KE8, QWH. KE8, QWH, I'm here. 
All right, Drew, very good. Thank you for being here. Next on the list is Jerry, N3, EVT. Good evening, Nemo, N3, EVT. All right, Jerry, good to have you in there tonight, man. I appreciate you being here. Uh, he checked in with us uh, two weeks ago. Let's see if he's in here tonight. Let's try it for Ray, uh, KC8, GSL. Uh, he must be back on a regular work schedule. We'll give out shout out to Joe, KE8 DNF. All right, nothing heard there. Uh, we'll give a try out to, to Ruth Ann. Let's see if she's around. KE8 ZVO. All right, Ruth Ann, thank you for being here with us tonight, and you're sounding good into the repeater. Uh, next on my list, we've got W8DEC. Matt, are you with us tonight? All right, nothing heard. Maybe he's working at the station. All right, that almost rounds out the list. Uh, we've got two more. Let's go, Frank, the weatherman, K-E-8-Z-H-H. -H. Hey, 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 K-E-8-Z-H-H, -H. I'm here. All right, Frank, uh, good impersonation there. Uh, next on the list, we've got uh, the man with the SFI report, W-A-I-J-C, Andrew. Hopefully he'll jump in there uh, later on down the road here, and uh, and that'll be all right. Uh, maybe not, and that'll be all right too. Very good. That's the end of the list as I have it of our regulars. So is there anybody else who wants to check in? Please call KE8PVL. All right, I copied Dan, N8DRL. Anybody else? All right, nothing heard. Again, this is the Wednesday Night Joke Net here on 146895 Repeater. I am KE8PVL, the net control for the evening, and uh, nothing else heard. We'll put our thinking caps on our funny bones, and we'll get into this week's joke. All right, so I went out to the, to the auction over in Meadville today. I had to make a trip out there and buy some pigs. So this week's joke is pig-related. All right, so uh, this week's joke is... How do pigs get to the hospital? This week's joke, how do pigs get to the hospital? And tonight we're going to start two down from the top of the list. Well, three down from the top of the list. And we'll go with uh, with Jim, KE8 LFR. Great to have you with us tonight, man. And uh, how do pigs get to the hospital? Jim, sorry about putting you in the hot seat there. I, I did promise Sonny he was he was saying, man, you always call me first, and I never get to think. So I just started mixing up the list, and I'm just pulling randomly now. All right, next on the list, we'll go down. Uh, we'll go down to Doug, uh, KE8TBX. Good to have you with us tonight. And how do pigs get to the hospital? Well, you 
go to the hospital in an ambulance, and the old word from an ambulance is a meat wagon. So I say meat wagon. K-E-A-T-P-X. All right, that's uh, Meat Wagon. I like that one, too. And, uh, man, that's great. Uh, two good answers there. We'll move down the list to Drew, K-E-8, Q-W-H. Sorry about that tongue twister one there. Uh, Drew, how do uh, pigs get to the hospital? I'm going to guess they drive themselves a lot, so I'm going to say Crown Victoria, K-E-8, Q-W-H. Back to that. Oh, right. Or, uh, nowadays, aren't they all driving Dodge Chargers, if that's what you're referencing? Good good pun on words there. I like that one. All right, next on the list is Jerry, N3EVT, and how do pigs get to the hospital? Well, I think Chris came very, very close, so I'm going to say ambulance. All right, ambulance. I like that one too. Uh, next on the list, we've got Ruth Ann. Hey, thanks for being here. You've become a regular, and we appreciate you. Uh, K E eight Z V Z O. And how do pigs get to the hospital? Ooh, that one was a little rough. Could you try again? We got that in style. Very good. Thank you. And uh, next on the list is we've got Frank, K-E-H-Z-H-H, and how do pigs get to the hospital? I'm going to say Harley Hog. Okay, on their Harleys. I'm liking that. That sounds like a good answer to me, too. All right, that puts me right back up to the top of the list. Sonny, KD8LHR, good to have you with us tonight, man. And how do pigs get to the hospital? Ah, well, I, I kind of bumped my button. I locked my mic now. I got that little button on top of my mic. When uh, I checked in, I put my mic down on the desk and it... It, it changed the frequency for me, and I didn't realize it, so I didn't catch anybody's answer. So I'm going off the uh, the old ham hock here, and uh, I, I honestly have no clue. I did catch Frank's answer. I'm sorry. Uh, the last one there, the hogs. That's a good one. I like that one. Uh, I'm thinking ambulance, maybe. Ambulance. And hopefully I'm the only one that got it. KD8LHR, back to you. All right, very good. Ambulance. And unfortunately, you weren't the only one. There is one other person that's got that one in there. And a couple variations there in, but I like that one too. All right, next on the list is we've got Dan, N8DRL. Thanks for being here with us tonight, man. And how do pigs get to the hospital? All right, very good. That's a funny one, too. All right, last on my list here is uh, Chris, K-E-8-Y-Q-L, and how do pigs get to the hospital? They use their piggy toes, man. Uh, K-E-8-Y-Q-L, back to net. All right, very good. Uh, piggy toes. And uh, that rounds out the list as I have it. Uh, this is KE8PVL with the Wednesday Night Joke Net. We are in the joke round. Is there anybody that wants to check in? Please call KE8PVL. KC8RJO. KC8RJO, Ron, we've got you locked in now. And anybody else?
All right, very good. Nothing heard. Ron, KC8, RJO, good to have you with us, man. Appreciate you being here, as always. And tonight's joke is, how do pigs get to the hospital? Okay, Nemo, first, uh, radio I was trying to check in on keeps losing its tones or its offset or something, so I tried it a couple times and realized I changed radios. But anyway, uh, I think I heard somebody else say it, but I'm going to have to say pigs get to the hospital in an ambulance. Uh, Casey and Argero back to net control. All right, very good. I got three on the ambulance uh, and a couple variations therein. Uh, next on the list is nobody. So we'll give one more call out before I give out the actual answer to anybody who wants to check in too. The Wednesday night joke that this is KE8 PVL calling. All right, nothing heard. And tonight's joke is. Uh, how does a pig get to the hospital? And the answer is, a bunch of people got it, a ambulance. The answer is, how does a pig get to the hospital? By a ambulance. All right, H-A-M-bulance. Very good there. I, I was thinking if Matt was here, he was going to get that one right off the bat. But, uh, man, a bunch of close ones, too. The, everybody else has said meat wagon and, and, uh, and the other one. Oh, shoot, I don't have it in front of me. A ham wagon. Uh, man, those were all close. Give yourselves half credit. And, uh, the hog people, the, the ones that said, uh, uh, motorcycles, well, you guys get a half, three quarters. We'll give you three quarters. The points don't matter anyway. All right. This is KEA PVL with the Wednesday Night Joke Net. Let me do a couple quick announcements, uh, get the housekeeping out of the way, and then we'll get into why everybody's really here. All right, uh, Amigos Radio Club Ashtabula is going to be doing Winter Field Day over at 3600 Stanhope Kellogg'sville Road. Everybody, please come and join us. Uh, we'll have people there most of the day, Saturday through Sunday. And, uh, man, it looks like we're going to have a great time, and it sounds like a lot of people are going to be showing up. So hopefully that's what's really going to happen. Some of the folks that aren't on the radio tonight, I'm sure they're doing what they got to do to make sure that they can fulfill the commitment that they've given to us for being there, and I appreciate that too. All right, uh, every Wednesday night, oh, here, I, I, let me take that back. Every Monday night at 8 p.m. over on the 146-715 repeater in Jefferson there, up here in Ashtabula County, is the Monday night Aries Net for Ashtabula County. Log in over there, give emergency services a hand. Lots of good people ch check in over there and people that are concerned about their community and trying to do the right things. All right, the PL tone for that repeater over there is 146715, and the PL tone is 141.3. It also has a standard offset for its frequency. Also, over on the 146.940 repeater in Chardon, every morning at 9 o'clock is the Trivia Net. Key up over there, learn something, and have some fun. There's a great group of guys over there, and it's always a blast. And I got to check in this morning, and, and even for a little while yesterday morning, that was great. Uh, don't forget, Wednesday Night Joke Net has a Facebook page. Please search us out Wednesday Night Joke Net like and share and check out the YouTube channel as well you can search it as Wednesday Night Joke Net uh, circulate that stuff around because uh, let me break <coughs> circulate that around as best you can because the more people we have paying attention to it subscribing to it sharing it the more stuff we actually get to do interacting on the administrative side so uh, so in order to progress farther in that we need more people checking it out and I hope it becomes a valuable resource to some folks anyway. All right, that's it. I'm going to shut up now. We're going to get into why everybody's really here tonight. Um, also, oh, wait, let me do one more notice. Let me break. It's that great cup that I'm about to start giving away next month. And uh, the next month's, uh, is it next month already? So it's 24. Yeah, so next, starting on the next net, we're going to start keeping score on the the secret, uh, oh no, next, next net is 31. So we got one more net before we start keeping score on the coffee cup giveaways. I'm going to give away a coffee cup to everybody who guesses the secret phrase right at the preamble in the beginning there. It always references a popular TV show, movie, uh, maybe a podcast. Uh, depends on 
radio show, maybe an old-time radio show, I might reference, uh, oh, you know, The Shadow, uh, even though they made that a TV show too, but uh, specifically if I'm referencing something radio, you'll know it's probably radio. All right. Uh, everybody who guesses that right, the person who guesses the most of those right at the end of the month, they're going to receive one of those great mugs, courtesy of, of well, me, but uh, made out by Joe, uh, K-A-8-D-N-F. He does a great job making mugs, and... Uh, Appreciate him doing that for me so that uh, I can give back a little bit to the community there. All right, now I'll shut up and we'll get into why everybody's really here tonight. Okay, this is KEA PVL with the Wednesday Night Joke Net, and we're going to go right to the list here, and uh, we're not going to start at the top. We're going to start where we started with the joke round. We're going to go to Jim, KE8LFR. Great for having you here tonight, man. I really appreciate you being here. What do you got for us this evening? There you go. Put me on the spot again. Calling me first. I liked it better when Sonny was first. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a good evening. Uh, not a whole lot going on. Uh, lots of work at work and... Wishing the weather would make up its mind so it could hurry up and get back to summer. But that's about it. Back to net. Yeah, good copy on that. The rain is ma making the, the snow melt, but uh, it's, it's not helping me any at this point. All right. Uh, it's turning my field into a great big lake slash ocean. I could probably sit, row a kayak down my field right now. All right, next on the list, we've got Chris, K-E-8-Y-Q-L. Good to have you with us tonight, man, and what do you got for us? Uh, K-E-8-Y-Q-L, are you still with us? All right, well, maybe he jumped out to get gas or something. He did say he was mobile. All right, next on the list is, uh, uh, we're looking at Doug, KE8TBX. Thanks for being here tonight, man. Really appreciate you being here. Looking forward to seeing you this weekend, but what do you got for us this evening? Oh, I will be attending the Aries meeting, and I should be going to breakfast early in the morning and then uh, going to that Aries meeting and then right after that I'll wander over and uh, see what a contest looks like and uh, uh, sit and chat and observe. I'm also studying for my amateur extra. I intend to take that on February 3rd and if all goes well I will be uh, <laughs> adding the slant AE to my call sign. Uh, that's about it from here. KE8TBX, back to that. All right, Doug, we're looking forward to passing on some congratulations for that. And uh, as soon as you get that, let us know. So we can pat you on the back, man. Appreciate you. And I'm working on my, uh, on my general here soon, and I'm thinking I'm going to be ready in a little bit. All right, next on my list is Drew. K-E-8-Q-W-H, good to have you with us tonight, and what do you got for us? Good evening, Nemo and everyone. Um, not much to report here. I told you guys I got this puppy a couple weeks ago, so that's uh, she's keeping me real busy. She's on my lap right now, just that way I can keep an eye on her and not have to, you know, she won't pee if she's in my lap, basically. So uh, that's that's been my life the last couple weeks. I haven't slept great. Um, but she's, she's getting better every day, getting housebroken and stuff, so there's that. Um, staying real busy with work. i got a big project I'm going to have to go out of town for in another couple weeks, so that'll be, uh, that'll be lucrative, so that's good. And uh, looking forward to field day and just uh, experiencing that for the first time. So back to that, K-A-Q-W-H. All right, well, we're looking forward to seeing you this weekend, too, and, uh, man, it'll be great to have you out there. Hopefully that puppy will give you a break, and you'll be able to come hang out and spend some time. All right, next on my list is Jerry, N3EVT. Good to have you with us tonight, man, and what do you got for us? Well, good evening. 
Good evening, all. Um, one of the advantages of this hobby is that you can learn something new every day if you pay attention. Sometimes it's technical, sometimes it's just general information. And so today I learned what the price of a goat would be, uh, something I would not ever be able to just puzzle out on my own. So thank you, Nemo. Back to net control, N3EVT. All right. Now, keep in mind, though, that that was auction prices at, at, at the auction. And, you know, if you wanted a pedigreed, guaranteed pedigreed, high-end show goat, so to speak, not something that you were going to use for farming, uh, you could probably pay substantially more than what I had mentioned. So just keep that in mind. But uh, per head, per pound, that's, that's what it was today. All right. Next on the list is, uh, well, we're looking at... Oh, well, we're looking at Ruth Ann, KE8ZVO. Thanks for being here, and what do you got for us tonight? I have two things. One is I heard there's food on Saturday and wondered uh, what I could bring. And the second thing is I got congratulations today from Wisconsin on the, my having my call sign, and it was relayed through uh, Neil out of Tri-County uh, Net. So that was fun. Back to Net. All right. Well, let me give you a quick rundown on that. But before uh, on the food situation, but before I do that, um, I, I I would like to say that you know I don't announce their net over there because their net so oddball days. It's like Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, or something like that, and it's at like nine o'clock at night. But the traffic training net is a good net, and I believe that's over on one four seven oh one five. I believe that's the repeater over there. It could be one four six oh one five, but I think it's one four seven oh one five. And uh, there's a good group of folks over there. They do uh, they do some good good work, uh, passing messages back and forth. I used to check into their net fairly regular, and uh, uh, I don't know why I don't anymore. Just the uh, lack of doing it. <laughs> That's it. All right. And as far as the food stuff goes, let me break. Okay. Well, I know for sure that I'm bringing a, a bunch of hamburgers and. Uh, appropriate uh, accoutrements for that uh, bread ketchup mustard all that stuff I'm um, also bringing some baked potatoes probably bring a little bit of sour cream with me uh, not pre-baked we'll have to bake them on site but uh, they'll be there ready to go for folks if that's what they want Has hamburgers baked potatoes uh, I know for sure that uh, Sonny and his wife are preparing some meatballs and uh, making some meatball hoagies I believe is exactly what he said so we'll be looking forward to that too. And it's always just kind of a potluck. I'm sure I'm going to bring a couple of cases of pop. So just so we have that. And I'm going to bring coffee. I'm, I'm a, don't worry, I got the coffee. And the coffee filters and whatever else we need, like that creamer, all that stuff. So, And any other contributions are, of course, welcome. Except for don't give Dan any chocolate milk. Uh, leave, leave any DRL as far away from any dairy products. Except for the cheese and the burgers. I think he's still allowed to have that. But I could be wrong about that too. All right. Hope that answers your question. Is that is that good enough for you there, Roger? Hi. Right, yeah, that's that's a good answer. And uh, yeah, you're right on the number for the net is Tri County. Uh, and I keep forgetting to do my call sign when I sign off. K E A V V O. Okay, you're right, but uh, uh, we we should be doing that. We're always a little lax on the two meter repeaters when we're when we're signing off. You're not actually signing off though. You're just hanging hanging off to the side until we get back around to you. So it's okay not to just throw it out there when you're done transmitting. Uh, all right, next on my list is we've got Ron KC8 RJO. Man, good to hear you. Thanks for checking in. And what do you got for us tonight? Well, good evening, Nemo and the group. Yeah, good night and good net going. Uh, good joke, uh, interesting answers, and uh, I uh, too am looking forward to the winter field day. I won't be able to spend the whole time there, of course, but I'll uh, be there when I can. Looking forward to seeing everybody. So this is KC8RJO back to net control.
All right, very good, Ron. And again, thank you very much uh, for being here tonight. Appreciate it. And speaking of thanks, I know I said it earlier, Dan, but, uh, you know, the last time we had Winter Field Day out at your place, it was a ball. And I really appreciate you hosting that for us. And I, I'm glad you're coming up to the new spot with us. And, man, we're going to have a good time as always. Uh, Dan, N8DRL, what do you got for us, man? Yeah, talking about food, if I'm planning on making a, a double batch of my taco salad for a Saturday, two hours out Saturday and Sunday, so I'll so have that too. So I'm sitting there working on Winter, winter Ron's radio, so I'm trying to get the tuner set up for it that he brought over. So uh, I'm going to be off the air for a little while. I need to hear off. All right, Dan, taco salad is definitely going to be appreciated, and we're looking forward to seeing you too, man. It's been so long, you've been kind of out of the physical circulation with your leg, man, and hopefully that's that's all worked out. And if nothing else, we'll just get you in a chair, and we'll, we'll, we'll chuck you around wherever we need you. So there you go. All right, next on my list is we've got Sonny, KD8LHR. Thank you for being here tonight, man, and what do you got for us? Katie at LHR, are you still with us? Ah, uh, yes, I'm still here. I'm just kind of daydreaming. Um, hello. This is Katie at LHR. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this coming weekend for sure. Um, I sent a message in the chat room. Uh, Coax, 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 uh, jumpers, coax. Antennas are good to go. Radios, I think we're going to have backups for our backups for our backups. They have backups that ain't been backed up yet, but still have backups. So we're good on radios. We're good on antennas. And coax is probably going to be a city. So... I know I got some coax here that I'm going to be using, and uh, I'm sure I'm sure we can come up with some more coax here and there. Uh, Food-wise, uh, Dan is bringing whatever that is, taco salad stuff that he's bringing. I'm bringing a whole mess load of uh, meatballs, homemade meatballs that my wife is going to throw together for us. Uh, for the event there and uh, make some meatball subs or whatnot and I'll bring a big old bag of cheese or something so I, I, yeah, yeah it's going to be a great time uh, I do have uh, a couple people that said that they're going to try to make it out uh, one of my co-workers and uh, one of my bosses he's, he's going to try from uh, ODOT he's going to try and come out and uh, let me break for time Uh, for all of us at Smoke, we are going to have a smoke hut outside. I got a tent that I'm going to be bringing out and putting up, uh, one of them canopy tents. It's got uh, walls on it. We'll have a smoke hut for that. Uh, I think Nemo said he's got a little 10 by 10 or something like that for whoever's going to be cooking. And uh, I think we'll be uh, pretty well set up with uh, burgers and and. and I don't know if we having hot dogs or not. I'm not for sure on hot dogs, but that's a, that does sound good. But uh, food wise, I think we're gonna be we're gonna get fat. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, the let's see. I did watch the uh, Ham Radio Clubhouse show last night. Pretty interesting show and. Uh, one of the curators and uh, hosts on that show actually subscribed to the Wednesday Night Joke Net uh, YouTube channel. So we got a new subscriber through him, and uh, he, he may be out here tonight. I don't know. Uh, 
I don't know if anybody's on Echo Link and if they can see anybody on Echo Link, but uh, yeah, we're going to have a good time this weekend, that's for sure. Um, I don't know what else. Let's put our heads together and uh, try and get Ruth Ann an antenna, something that she can put up in the air and uh, uh, get out a little bit better than that uh, little HT antenna. Let's uh, do what we're meant to do as a club and help out a fellow ham. All right, back to net control. KAPBL, this is KD8LHR. Back to you. Comment. Uh, Jim, I heard you in there for a recheck. Give me a second here, and I'll get right into you. Sonny, thank you for that. And, uh, yeah, I actually heard, uh, uh, my understanding is is that, uh, I, well, I overheard on the radio the other day Jerry mentioning something about, or N3EVT mentioning about having a SMA connector for her that was hooked to an antenna that could be put outside at least so that she could get a little bit better connection out there and, I don't know exactly where we're at on that, but I was holding off any of my thoughts on that until I had heard whether that had been done or not. Uh, so just so that I know, Jerry, N3EVT, uh, how's that going there? Nemo, I had been waiting to hook up with Ruth Ann uh, at one of our Saturday morning breakfast, uh, but because of uh, her isolation. We haven't been able to do that. Uh, but I carry it around in my car, so when I see her next, uh, she has her choice of two different antennas, both with the appropriate connectors. All right, very good. Um, and then, you know, I might have an extra hand mic f that will work on that radio, too, if she wants. That way she's not picking up the radio itself. Maybe we can figure out a way to get her uh, a mobile to run as a base station. I have an old Asden here, but I don't know how good it works. I've never really plugged it in or tried it, but uh, if, it, if it functions, you're more than welcome to it, Ruth Ann. We'll, we'll try and get you set up so that you can at least sit comfortably in your living room, maybe, and I know you just went over the big C word with uh, with all that sickness there, so hopefully you're all better, and I, I didn't bother asking that on the radio, but uh, hopefully you're all better, and uh, and we'll be able to talk to you about that a little bit more. Um, let me let me put you on pause with that subject for just a second. I know Jim tried to bust in there for a minute, so let me get to him, and then we'll figure out uh, what's next. We'll give Chris a shout out after that. But right now, let's go to Jim KE8LFR. Go ahead with that recheck. very good and i have an extra j pole sitting over here for her too if she wants to use that we can uh we can find a piece of mass pipe and just strap it with u-clamps to the side of the house that that might go a long way um so you've got some options there with then if you're hearing me and uh and hopefully you, you think about that just give a holler out to any of us whenever you feel like it you've got plenty of ways to get a hold of me and jerry and everybody else so we're glad to help out another hand that's what we do uh, let me just move down the list one more time here. We're going to reach out to Chris because he uh, he didn't check in during the joke round there, but he did check in. We'll see if he's back in his truck. KE8YQL, are you with us back again? KE8YQL, uh, I am. I'm actually back in the shack here. And I did try to check in, but I might not have been making the repeater there. I'm not sure. So uh, if you can hear me, I don't have a whole lot for the net. But I am really uh, looking forward to this weekend, and uh, I'm glad to hear everybody out there, and uh, some new hams and um, some old friends alike. Uh, but that's about all I have, and everybody have a great evening. Be careful if you're on the road. It's very foggy, and visibility is limited in a lot of places. Uh, so with that, KE8YQL, back to net. All right, and after a word from our sponsor there, 
Uh, this is KE8PVL with the Wednesday Night Joke Net. Thank you, everybody, for being here tonight. I did hear a phone beep go on there. Maybe somebody else was trying to get in. Give us a minute. I've got one more person to get to, and, uh, and then we'll work on whoever else needs to check in. Let me turn it now over to Frank, Kilo Echo 8 Zulu Hotel Hotel with the weather report. Thanks for being here tonight, man. Go ahead. that fog today. It was supposed to end about 11 o'clock. It didn't. last lasted all day. And uh, what a dreary day. But uh, anyways, on with the uh, joke net weather report. Current weather conditions in Pierpont Township are 49 degrees with 99% humidity. And the barometric pressure is at 29.05 inches and it's falling. Wind is out of the south at 3 miles per hour. Today's high was at 49 degrees and low was at 36 degrees. For tomorrow, expect cloudy skies with highs around 47 degrees and a low of 41 degrees with light rain in the evening. Rain, rain, rain. Uh, looks like we'll be in the mid-50s on Friday. showers again. <laughs> guess you can't have your cake and eat it too. But I guess it's better than freezing snow. Uh, record high for today in weather history stands at 65 degrees in 1909 and a record low is minus 19 in 1963. Sunrise will be at 7.41 a.m. Sunset will be at 5.28 p.m. And now for some weather trivia. Which town in Ohio averages the most snowfall per year? With the average snowfall of 170, no, 107 inches, Chardon is notable for being the snowiest city in Ohio. In 1996, from November 9th through November 13th, the storm dumped over 70 inches of snow in a period of six days on Chardon. I think that's about six foot. Yeah, 72 inches. That would be about a foot a day. That's a lot of snow. Alrighty. And finally, the weather joke of the week. What's a weatherman's favorite food in the winter? What's a weatherman's favorite food in the winter? listening and uh this is frank the weather guy and back to net control thanks for listening all right burritos burritos and uh man there should be a some kind of a drink that goes along with that too i would think but i i just can't think of it off the top of my head see it's it's sometimes it's a stumper Sometimes it's a stumper. All right, this is KE8PVL with the Wednesday Night Joke Net. Is there anybody that wants to check in before uh, we move on to the next round? Please call. KC8LAR. KC8, KC8LAR. KC8, LAR, good to have you with us tonight, man. Uh, appreciate you being here. Um, Give me one second here, and we'll get right to you. Anybody else want to check in? All right, nothing heard. Jeff uh, and Ruthann, I heard you in there for the recheck, too, so just give us a second. I'll get right to you. Uh, 
we'll go right into the discussion round two. So, uh, Winter Field Day, get it off your chest. That's tonight's discussion topic. Obviously, uh, we're all really looking forward to that, and um, I'm happy to be getting out there and doing it. So, uh, Jeff, KC8, LAR, good to have you with us tonight. We'll call on you next. Tonight's joke was, how do pigs get to the hospital? And uh, uh, go ahead, man. Thanks for being here. Go ahead with your comments. Oh, uh, thanks for being there. Thanks for running the net. I was a little late, had some stuff to do. Uh, how do pigs get to the hospital? Uh, I, it's something to do with swine. That's all I know. Uh, <laughs> um, as far as where field day goes, I'm ready. Um, I'm ready to load and get there and get her done. So I know everybody else is looking forward to it, too. It's been kind of uh, uh, prep, prep, prep for it. And uh, trying to take care of everything else going around uh I know everybody knows the feeling, so with that, uh, we'll keep it short and sweet, and uh, uh, as long as Revan doesn't mind vintage equipment, I've got vintage equipment here, uh, and we'll pass it back to that control. KC to LAR. All right, very good, and you know, uh, you know, to me, I, I know I like field day, I like some a lot of the other stuff that we do, MVIS day is always fun, there's plenty of experiments that we could do with the, on that day, and and just goofiness here and there on, on fun days. Uh, Ohio State Parks on the Air is a great example of uh, loads of fun and good day out with the club. Uh, but, you know, to me, winter field day is it. That's 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 it. I, I think if we had to set up 10 by 10 tents outside and use kerosene and propane heaters, I'd be, I'd be just as happy as that. But I am thankful we have the facility that we have this year, don't get me wrong. All right, uh, that's going to put me here I, I know Ruthann rechecked uh so let's let me go to her Ruthann uh what do you got man uh ma'am <laughs> uh K-E-8-Z-V-O go ahead with your recheck hi I just wanted to let you know I'm going to bring the list of what I'm supposed to buy on February 3rd and pick up in Columbus so everybody knows what I already have or expect to have and then we can go from there and talk about what I should get Back to next, All right, so you've already got some gear on order, and I'm sure you've already consulted with uh, many of the great hams that are around you. I know, I know you talked to Stan, and, and I'm sure you've talked to Jerry and a bunch of other folks that are really good hams that will offer you some great advice, and I'm um, hopefully they've given you, pointed you in some good directions. I know they wouldn't steer you wrong intentionally. Uh, none of us would. So there you go. And uh, so when you get it in, maybe, you know, send, send us a list. Maybe we'll start a group chat about it and we'll see what we need to do to get over there. Get you set up once it comes in for you. Uh, I know I don't have a problem coming over there and lending a hand and, and most of us in the group don't either. So there you go. All right, uh, let me go down the list here in order the way we were doing. We'll go over to Doug, uh, Kilo Echo 8, Tango Bravo X-Ray, man. Thanks for being here and your patience tonight. What do you got for us? Kilo Echo 8, Tango Bravo X-Ray. Hey, I wanted to uh, <laughs> I wanted to give you a quick call while you were in between other things and say I have to bow out. Uh, my wife has hurt her back quite badly, and uh, I'm on call to do whatever she needs me to do. So she was asking if I could uh, end things early. So KDA, TBX, I will be clear. All right, Doug, go ahead and secure your station. Appreciate you being here tonight and taking time out of your day. Please send the XYL our best, and I hope everything gets better for you. Completely understand. Let's keep moving on down the list. We'll go to Drew, K E eight Q W H. Uh, Winter field day. Get it off your chest, man. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to winter field day. Um, I'm not sure what the uh, what this round is for. I wasn't paying close attention because of this dog, but looking forward to it. I'm not really going to bring much because I'm not sure how long I'll be there. I think I might try to bring the puppy to meet people, but. I might try to leave her here so I can stay longer. 
Um, I'm just playing everything by ear right now, but uh, looking forward to it either way. I'm glad I got to meet some of you guys the other day when I tested, and then looking forward to meeting some of the rest of you I haven't met. So back to that, K8, QWH. All right. Well, it's uh, really just a comment. Whatever you want to say about Winter Field Day, whether it's uh, we're going to have a good time, come on out, and or whether uh, I don't care if you say you don't want you don't like Winter Field Day, kick it down the road. Uh, opinions, opinions, and uh, I can respect all of that. There's a place for everybody here in Amateur Radio. Next on the list is uh, N3 EVT Jerry. Uh, Winter Field Day. Go ahead, get it out. Well, I'm going to be on the road heading back to Virginia this weekend, so I will miss that, uh, although I will not miss the cold weather. One of the things that we did at a previous club that I was involved in is we asked, could we put the field day together with no notice? Now, I've, I've heard chatter on the radio, and it sounds like everybody has done a masterful job in preparation for your upcoming uh, winter field day, and you're to be applauded for that. But could you do it with no notice? Uh, that was a question we always posed. So with that, back to net control in 3VT. All right. Well, that's a good question. And that's actually the point of field days in the first place. And I use plural because I include summer field day with that. And, uh, and we do try and keep that in mind as much as possible. I know at least one or two folks are using go boxes, uh, I know, I know Jeff, he just keeps a radio in the camper that he can flop around whenever he needs to. Uh, my radios pull right off my desk, and I've got uh, mobile antennas for both of them, and I can just wire them straight to my car if that's what I needed to do. So I, I would say for the most part, yes, but uh, a little bit of planning and preparation would also help, I'm sure. All right, now let's move on down. Uh, well, uh, Ruth Ann, I, I don't know if you're coming out to the Winter Field Day stuff or not. Um, obviously you're always welcome to any event we're, we're holding. Uh, hopefully you'll, we'll see you sooner rather than later. But if, uh, if medical reasons permit, pre prevent you from uh, showing up, please understand that we, we also understand and it's okay. Uh, K E eight Z V O go ahead. Hi, it's Ruthann. I'm actually clear. I've been negative all week. I'm out and about again and I will be there. K-E-A-C-B-O. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to having you come out, and maybe we'll sit you down in front of a radio, get your work a pileup. Uh, that ought to be interesting for you. And it's, it, it, it is a tough skill. It is a skill, working pileups. So there you go. Or even busting through one, it's a skill. I uh, uh, heard one guy in Texas on one of my field days call it Radio Roundup. He was calling CQ, CQ for the Radio Roundup. So... Uh, another guy in our club used to call it NASCAR radio. So <laughs> those two 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 analogies kind of work. All right, next on the list is uh, is Frank K E eight Z H H Winterfield Day. Good, bad, and different advice. Get it all off your chest, man. All right, from what I understand, Evo, you're getting off three o'clock tomorrow, and I understand Jeff is. I'm glad. Jeff uh, joined in the net tonight. Uh, I'm supposed to pick up some stuff from Sonny's place, and I can pick up some lo some stuff with my truck at Jeff's place also at three o'clock, and meet at the clubhouse. I don't know uh, sometime after that way gate can be open and we can offload that stuff and maybe get some wood in the in the clubhouse and also are we going to fix that outdoor light or do you want me to just bring my uh, 10,000 uh, lumen uh, light to uh, fuel day to light up the whole place uh, the outside and I have a couple other more questions but I'll think of them later All right. Uh, as far as the light goes, um, I, I say we burn that bridge when we get there, and we'll figure out what needs to be done. 
uh, based on that. If it looks like we can get to the light and fix it, then we will. And, uh, you know, when, when you say clubhouse, I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that it is the Jefferson Conservation Club's clubhouse, not the Amicus Radio Club clubhouse. And we, we appreciate them letting us use it for winter field day. It's a great facility. And a good group of guys worked at that, that uh, conservation club, myself included, and, and also Wayne, who's not with us this evening. All right. Uh, as far as the rest of that goes, I, I'm uh, what time I can get together with folks. I only I'm going in work normal time, so I'll be on the road by seven o'clock. Uh, we're only going to put a garage door in tomorrow, a, a new garage door on a garage that we've been waiting on for a month, two, three, four months now almost to plumb the special order of this garage door, but finally got it in, finally got the call, so we're going to go put that up tomorrow. I would imagine that's not going to take all day. Uh, like I said, I only said 3 o'clock because I figured 3 o'clock is probably by the time I, I get home and get everything done. So, yes, I'll, I, I will be available at some point tomorrow. I'll give a holler out on the repeater when I'm on my way back from the job site. So, People get some idea, maybe an hour or so's heads up notice before I'm ready to do stuff. And I will be at the Conservation Club to open the gate and let people in if that's what has to happen. All right, next on my list, we'll go down to Ron, uh, KC8RJO. Good to have you with us tonight, man. Thought we were going to miss you. Uh, Winterfield Day, good, bad, and different. Great advice, bad advice. Let it all out. I think Winterfield Day is good. I am happy that this club is actually doing the winter field day. It was the regular field day, one of the things that got me started in uh, really uh, getting involved in HF. And uh, that's uh, uh, one opportunity that's yearly. This is another one. So that gives the club two times a year to uh, go out and practice a little radio and maybe be in a little better position to just pull one together without uh, without a lot of notice. So uh, I'm going to give it a big plus. KC8RJO back to net. <coughs> All right, very good. Yeah, I have to admit, uh, my first field day, I, I was, uh, uh, especially winter field day, it's always going to be my favorite winter field day. I don't care if we got to do it outside in, in, in cardboard boxes. We'll figure it out. But... Uh, but it, it, it is, for me, you know, as a technician class, it's one of the opportunities I get to jump up there and do stuff. And I know I'm going to try and rectify that for, for myself on a regular basis. But uh, even then, still, it, it's a good opportunity to jump up there and do it. And he, at least sit down, hear what's going on, maybe help log, whatever. Uh, all of that's part of radio. And I know people that don't like the contesting side of it, but... If you can't handle the contesting side in the pileup, you can't handle an emergency management situation over the radio, unless there's a bunch of really polite people like we have here on the net tonight. So that's just my thought on that, <laughs> and uh, and people can say what they want to with it. But that's, that's, again, just my thought on that. All right, next on my list, we'll go down to, uh, well, we'll go over to Dan, NADRL. Are you still with us tonight, or did you uh, did you sign off? All right. Well, I thought you had said that earlier, but I, I figured I'd give you one more try just to be on the safe side. All right. Next on the list, we've got Sonny, KD8, LHR, uh, Winter Field Day. Good, bad, and different. Good advice, bad advice. Get it all out. Uh-oh, maybe he fell asleep by his keyboard. Uh, KD8LHR, you still with us? All right, well, maybe we lost him. I'm going to round out this list here, I think. Uh, well, nope, I think I got... Did I, did I, Jeff, did I call you yet for the, for the discussion round? KD8LFR, maybe I didn't... Uh, good, bad, and different winter field day. I know we're going to see it for a little while there. 
Uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, you got me. Um, I, I still don't have any thoughts. Back to that control. KC to AR. All right. Uh, I meant to call Jim. Jim, K A L F R. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you out there too. I, I know you said you were going to try and be there for a while. Uh, winter field day, good, bad, and different. What are your thoughts? Looking forward to seeing you. It looks like we won't have to worry about clearing the parking lot of any of the fluffy white stuff that's becoming very slick now. All right, next on the list is Chris, Kilo Echo 8, Yankee Queen Libra. Yeah, that wasn't correct phonetic spelling alphabet, but uh, uh, we're trained amateurs, right? That's the way I see it. Uh, Chris, uh, what are your thoughts on Winter Field Day? Good, bad, and different? Any advice? Good advice, bad advice, what are your thoughts? Let it all out, man. K-E-A-Y-Q-L. Um, I think that, like you say, it's an awesome time for us as technicians to get to use the HF and uh, really explore the capabilities of ham radio. Um, I'm looking forward to it, and uh, I'm really excited, like I said. So, um I guess this is my first winter field day. Uh, so that's also exciting. Uh, KE8YQL, I hope you can hear me on the HT. And uh, I did try to check in with an answer earlier, and I must not have transmitted, and it didn't seem like I transmitted from the, the shack here earlier. Uh, so I don't know. If you can hear me, cool. Uh, KE8YQL, back to that. All right, well, these last two rounds, you've been coming in pretty good. There's a little bit of bacon frying in the background on that one, but uh, you were completely readable. I would have given you a 5-9 any day of the week on an HF band. All right, uh, this is K8 PVL with the Wednesday Night Joke Net, and that rounds out the list as I have it. Uh, just before we go ahead and put a bow on it, is there anybody that wants to check into the net or anybody that wants to recheck, please call K8 PVL. Recheck N3 EVT. Jerry got you in there for a recheck. Anybody else want to check in or recheck? All right, nothing heard. Jerry, with the last recheck of the evening, thank you again for being here. Go ahead, N3 EVT, go ahead. Nemo, I wonder as net control if you can ask Ruth Ann if she can stay on the frequency just for a couple minutes after the net closes. N3 EVT. All right. Uh, Ruth, uh, did you copy that traffic and are you willing to stick around for a direct call? All right, Jerry, I don't know how, how well you heard that, but I copied a yes, and uh, she'll be sticking around. She's got a little bit of bacon in there. She might have to make that two steps to the left to find that magic spot, but that's okay. I'm sure she'll figure that out in a minute. Anybody else? This is K8PVL with the Wednesday Night Joke Net. Go ahead with direct to KC8 LAR. Jeff, if you're there, go ahead and pick up the call. KC8 LAR. Uh, yeah, we're here. Go ahead, Frank. Sorry about that, LAR. Your, your call sign messing up your call sign. What up? Did you need stuff picked up tomorrow uh, for uh, the loaded in the truck? Uh, if you have the availability, um, I won't be here until later, but the uh, top of uh, the tower and the two pipes that we were playing with the other day um, are next to, the, well, they're right in front of the camper there. So um, if you could 
uh, get those there, and that would be most helpful. Okay, Funny will be with me. Would he know what needs to go? Uh, just those two items. Everything else, I can uh, I can pack in Bertha. Roger that. Okay, I'm pretty sure Funny will know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'll uh, probably be there before around 3 o'clock to pick them up then. Okay, that's all I want to know. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, we'll be picking them up then. Wow, thank you, Frank. Thank you, Nemo, for uh, breaking the net. KC at LAR, back to uh, net control. All right, thank you, Jeff. Uh, this is KC8, or KE8PVO with the Wednesday Night Joke Net. Uh, last call out for rechecks. Please call KE8PVO. All right, very good. Nothing heard. I'm going to go ahead and turn the repeater back over to normal amateur radio use, whatever that is. Before I do that, I'd like to thank Tom, NHCT, for the use of the repeater. And for everybody currently serving and retired from service to our country, your sacrifices will not be forgotten. Uh, man, be good to each other, everybody. And I believe that uh, Jerry and 3 evt and Ruth Ann are going to have a call, so I'll turn it over to them. KE8 PVL clear. Oh, wait a minute. KC and RJO. Uh, excuse me, uh, Dan, uh, Jerry, and, and Ruth Ann. Uh, Nemo, the, the opening line, I can't think of the movie, but I think I know what it was about. All right, uh, well, if you want to give me a description, I'll let you know what the opening line was and uh, and give that if, ever, if uh, Jerry, you're willing to wait a second. I'll wait in 3 It was about two young people who had a terminal illness and they, illnesses and they fell in love, and I don't remember the rest of it. All right, a little bit of a double there with you, but thank you for giving us some patience there, Jerry. Um, the the movie's name that I referenced, uh, Those That Know That Every Atom In Our Bodies, was once a part of a star. That movie is uh, Gattaca is the name of the movie. And, yes, it did have uh, something to do with some folks that had terminal illnesses and, uh, oh, identity theft to some extent and the contra contractual obligations and getting ahead in society. And, and it's a space movie, too. Great movie. It's one of my all-time favorites. All right. I, re I definitely recommend watching it if you haven't. All right. Uh, anything else before I hand it all over to, to Jerry there? Okay. I got to remember to put that on the end of the list here, uh, end of my script here, the, the, the secret movie thing reference. All right. That's it. I'm out of here. KE8 PVL clear. Go ahead, Jer. KE8 VZO N3 VT. Do you copy, Ruth Ann? 